Hello, my golden butterflies. Welcome back to the channel. So I just realized that the past few videos that I've made have been kind of heavy. So I wanted to veer into the comedy direction, which I found this really great comedy on Hulu, and it's called Reboot. So just to give you guys a quick synopsis of what it is, it's about a dysfunctional cast from the early 2000s hit sitcom called Step Right Up, who must face their unresolved issues and navigate a very vastly different media and entertainment environment when a young writer pitches a reboot. So basically, this was really popular, you know, early 2000s, so it was a completely different time. And here we are in 2022, and they're, they're grappling with that cultural difference. And it's really cute. It's not what you would think. I first thought it was going to be, you know, like super corny and super dry, but it's actually very relatable. And the cast is hilarious. So we have Keegan-Michael Key, who plays Reed Sterling, and he is a Yale-trained actor who plays Lawrence, which is the stepfather. He's on the left. And he left the show to pursue a career in film, but ultimately that didn't work out the way that he thought it would. And then we have in the middle, Johnny Knoxville, he plays Clay Barber. He's an actor and a raunchy stand-up comedian who played Jake as the ex-husband in their old sitcom, Step Right Up. And now he is trying to overcome like substance abuse and repeat arrests for minor crimes. And then Rachel Bloom on the right is playing Hannah Corman. She's an up and com coming indie film screenwriter who lands a deal with Hulu to revive Step Right Up, but is forced to go into the role of the co-showrunner with the sitcom's director. And we have Judy Greer, who plays Brie Marie Jensen. She is the one who played Jody, who's the mom. She retired from acting when she married the Duke of a small Nordic <laughs> country before losing all their money in the divorce. Right there in the middle is Callum Worthy. He plays Zach Jackson. He was the child star who played Cody. And he grew up and had a brief career as a leading man in a whole bunch of series of low budget teen movies. So they are basically showing us behind the scenes of what it would be like to get an inside look at all the actors' lives while they're on set. We see them interacting with one another, trying to find their footing. And it's pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Like I laughed more than I thought that I would. So Hannah, she gets the green light to revive the sitcom and the original cast, they come back to play older versions of themselves. And you can see that in a lot of reboots that have happened, right? Like The Boy Meets World, The Fuller House, etc. We've had a ton of reboots. And so for Hulu to kind of spoof that and create this show, I thought was really original. And so there is Hannah and Gordon. They are the original showrunners. And their relationship is interesting, to say the least. I'll let you guys watch and find out their connection. But again, the insight into their lives, their struggles, their conflict with each other and having to have that, you know, how their lives are all intertwined and that interconnection. It's really interesting. Like we get a chance to go to the writer's room and it is, it's really funny. It's a really, really, really funny show. I think that the writing is really good. Like the comedic timing is really good. They talk about how, you know, Gordon 
he brings in a whole bunch of older writers from back when he was running the show. And when I say older, I mean like 60, 70 year olds. And they are working with the one, the writers that Hannah has hired and they are in their twenties. And so Gordon walks in and he sees this, you know, group of young and, it, and it's a diverse group. And so he asks them if, you know, if they're interns and he says that they, he can't pay them. And, you know, he says some really off the, off the wall remarks. And, uh, and one thing I love about Generation Z is that they confront all those things head on. And so they do so in a comedic way, but, you know, it's just, it's a completely different cultural paradigm than it was 20 years ago, 40 years ago. And so them exploring that is hilarious. So they bring in this beautiful new actress. Her name is Alia Chanel Scott, and she plays Timberly Fox, who is a former reality show contestant. And she plays Whitney, the adult daughter of Reed's character, Lawrence, Michael Keegan Key. Keegan Michael Key is his name, sorry. I have mixed those up, but he plays Reed Sterling. And so she plays his daughter on the show and she comes in and she is, you know, really personable and fun and bubbly and the older women, Josie in particular is kind of threatened by her character. So you can see that kind of interplay. She reminds me of a little bit of a Hillary Bl Banks character from Fresh Prince. So she's like beautiful, but she's like over the top bubbly and not really an intellectual, but she uses her her beauty and her charm to make everyone on set fall in love with her. So, and then we have a new up and coming executive, Krista Marie Yu. She plays Elaine, Elaine Kim. She is the inexperienced studio executive tasked with overseeing the revival of the show step right up so she's trying to find her footing and her way as a new hulu executive and we see her kind of blunder and make her way through those growing pains as a up-and-coming exec and uh, i think it's just it's a really heartwarming funny show that shows different sides of their personality, shows that we are heavily influenced today by social media, which wasn't, you know, really available 20 years ago, and how that affects not only Hollywood and making films and TV shows, but also just how we interact with one another. I think I think one of the best things about the internet is that it leveled the playing field in a way that even more so than colleges or universities have. I think that people can create an online persona and they can leverage the internet to connect with people all over the world, it's a wonderful tool if used for good and not evil, right? If used correctly, but I I really enjoyed watching this show. It made me laugh and I really want you guys to check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope they make a season two because it was just really a delight to watch. It was like really funny writing and yeah, it was great. It was definitely lighter than most of the TV shows and films that are they're making right now. So, and it's well lit. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people are saying that a lot of the shows are really dark, not only in content, but also lighting. So this is really well lit and I appreciate them leaning into subjects such as aging and, and change. So I thought it was delightful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you lovely ladies and gentlemen at a later date. Bye.